Hey guys, this is the Waves Behavior reading passage and video. So the first little bit, you do your first and last name, class period, and teacher. And this is a video of me reading this Waves Behavior. Uh, just in case you just don't feel comfortable reading, I want to give you this option to watch this um, and answer the questions below. When a wave encounters a barrier or enters a new medium, it behaves a certain way. Its behavior depends on the type of wave, its properties and properties of the barrier. When a wave encounters a barrier, it can bounce off the surface of that barrier. This is called a reflection. Waves tend to reflect best off of flat, smooth, hard, and shiny surfaces. For example, sound waves best reflect off of hard surfaces such as brick or tile floors. The reflection of sound produces an echo. Light waves best reflect off calm waters or mirrors. The reflection of light waves produce a mirror image. When a wave passes across a barrier in a new medium, such as air into water, which is a gas into, into a liquid, the wave bends. The bending of a wave is called refraction. A wave refracts because its speed changes in a new medium. When speed of a wave changes, the direction of the wave changes and so it bends. Waves can also bend to get a small barrier or to squeeze through small openings within a barrier. This is called diffraction. Waves diffract in an obstacle is a small or it is the opening in the barrier. It is just wide enough to accommodate the wavelength of the wave. When a wave comes in contact with each other, they interact. Specifically, if they overlay or impose on one another, this is interference. When waves interfere with each other, they combine to produce one wave called a result wave. The amplitude of the result wave depends on the amplitude of the interfering wave that phase of those waves.